in the culture of science, which includes its funding, its system of hierarchy and status, you know, academic promotions, employment opportunities, your reputation, your licenses, I mean, all that stuff is part of the, and all, and the so culture on, yeah. of yeah. science. So if somebody, like say that you are a graduate student and it's a very competitive market and you're hoping to get a job, you're hoping to have a career and you have a choice about what to do for your PhD research. Mm -hmm. And you could choose to uh, research something that's unorthodox. Like maybe your research question is, uh, are uh, vaccines safe and effective? Or something like that, you know, and you, and you want to like really look at some of these claims that they're associated with allergies or autism or autoimmunity. I mean, you could theoretically do that, but you know that for one thing, you're not likely to get funding. You're going to face First. harsh scrutiny. Yeah. Um, your professor might not even want to be associated with this project. You're probably not going to be able to get it published. Like it's, it's because it goes against the common morality, like the common view of this is what is good, that is what is bad, this is what is true, this is what is false. But who's 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 dictating those? It's a culture. It's not like somebody on the top of a pyramid is issuing instructions about here's what you may study and here's what you may not. It's 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 a mob for it's a, I, I call it a, a mob phenomenon. Everybody <laughs> kind of knows. It's like in 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 school when there's an unpopular kid. That's the weird kid. That was me. That was you. So maybe I didn't think you were weird, Gene. <laughs> I thought you were a nice guy, but I didn't want anybody to see me near you because then they would think I was weird also. Yeah. So I keep my distance. It could be that two thirds of the class thinks that you're totally fine, but each one of them keeps their distance because they don't want to be the target of the bullies. Okay, so I look and I'm like, well, Everybody else is keeping their distance from you. Maybe they think you're weird too. Who am I to think otherwise? I'm the only one who wants to be friends with you. Like that's how it looks to me. And that's how it looks to everybody else. And the reason that I keep my distance from you isn't because I got a memo from the class leader mm. or the committee of bullies telling me to stay away. It's this, it's, it's a, Uh, uh, spontaneous formation. And I think this happens in the culture of science, in medicine, in politics, in society, in the media. You know, there's not necessarily anybody sending an order that, um, you know, you shall ridicule ivermectin or something like that. But Everybody kind of knows and they see by example what happens if you don't follow the morality of the mob.